Welcome to another Cup of Joe. I'm your host, Joe Tumalo, CEO of Major and Plan Giving Development, with my guest, Matt Hug, longtime friend, guest, Matt. Oh, salud. There you go. <laughs> Why we have my not Cup done of Joe. One? Thank you. Why we have not done one prior, I don't know, but here we are. Yeah. And uh, this is very spontaneous, impromptu. We were just talking about um, the phenomenon when you're, let's say, uh, wanting to buy a car, and let's say it's a uh, Lexus, let's go big. Lexus, yeah, let's or go. Yeah. The or no, tel, uh, Telsa, Tesla, 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 <laughs> Tesla, right? And so you're shopping, and you know, depending on how much you research, but what you do is you start to see them everywhere. When exactly. You're on the road, and you were educating me. What's that big word you use? Oh, oh, well, it's called the reticular activation system, and it's a brain thing. And the idea is that you're right. You know, you, they haven't stamped out that many cars of whatever kind you're seeing, right? But your brain has uh, defined it for you. I used to drive years ago a PT Cruiser and I could see every little nuance of the change of a PT Cruiser. Oh, they put a spoiler on the back. Oh, look at the rims are different than mine, right? You started seeing this and everywhere, and yet they didn't, believe me, they didn't make that many PT cruisers. <laughs> it wasn't that hot a car. Uh, well, for a good reason, but yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, no, exactly. Really underpowered. But yeah. um, the point is, though, that your brain defines this and it starts looking for those things. Same reason why, you know, uh, we're here and not uh, had our ancestors eaten by uh, saber-toothed tigers, you know? Um, uh, they defined some threat in their environment and they could see it and they learned that. And so you can use this concept all over. You can use it in uh, looking for a job, right? Uh, people say, oh, well, we need to, um, I, I need to look at everything I can, right? No, if you want something, define it down narrowly and then you'll start seeing that more and more. Um, major gifts, uh, prospects. You know, who is your target major gift prospect? Make a definition and you will start seeing that more and more. So, yeah. yeah I call it um, IDP, ideal donor profile. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. And that's, and that triggers your reticular activation system to start seeing that uh, even when you're not looking for it. Awesome. Matt, so how do you help people? You've been in the nonprofit space for a while. What What's your deliverable? Well, I, my world is uh, anymore in education. Uh, I teach at um, uh, right now at Thomas Edison State University uh, in their public uh, service management program. Uh, I also have uh, what I just described to somebody in an email, uh, the ultimate nonprofit playlist. Uh, it's uh, called nonprofit.courses. Courses is a new top level domain. And I have, uh, gosh, about 8,000 videos on there from more than 200 people, including you, Joe, uh, which you know. Uh, and um, the, uh, it, it covers really all aspects of nonprofit work, uh, except the programs itself, whatever program you're doing. We don't get so much into that, but we're talking about accounting, volunteer management, fundraising, grant proposal writing, um, and then subtopics of all those. And uh, I mean, that's just a small, uh, you know, flavor of it. Great. And one more time, the uh, website, please. Oh, nonprofit.courses. Awesome. Matt Hug, thank you as always. Great to see you. Hey, thanks, Joe. Talk to you later. Thank you.